let's talk about our our goals, knowing knowing what's possible, knowing the technologies that are available, knowing the technologies that are coming, understanding the way the marketplace is shifting. What do you hope an everyday healthcare interaction will look like in 10 years? So I think about patient care interactions in 10 years, there's probably three things I think about. I think from the, the physician perspective, it's really helping them hone in on what's important for that patient at the moment. It's, it's eliminating a lot of the noise and giving them what they need to make the right decision. It's about um, you know, dealing with many of the, the administrative burdens that they deal with today uh, that are contributing to burnout and streamlining those processes. So ultimately those decisions can be made even without any physician or clinic interaction. Just that data is collected, moves to the right person to make a decision, an administrative decision, and the physician can care for the patient. I think from the patient perspective, it's getting them more engaged in the process, giving them the information they need, um, making them a part of that a record, making them a part of both the viewer and the contributor to the record, and um, you know, helping them being a better advocate. And I think the third part is thinking about their family. And I say family, I mean not just their direct family, but any member, any sort of person who's helping that patient out. So a lot of people have these very complex conditions and it's too much for them to take care of themselves. But they have somebody, they have a loved one, they have a friend, they have a colleague who's helping them. And being able to create models for them to participate in that care process too. Right. It's hard, it's really hard. And you know, I think all the members of the system are trying to do the right thing. They're all there for a purpose, they all uh, add value, but it's the complexity of all those interactions which makes it incredibly challenging. Right, so it's not about a lack of technology or a lack of capability in the U.S. We have what we need technologically. We have the thought leaders to bring technologies to the forefront. It's about coordinating the entities. Yeah, I think we're the best in the world at sick care. Um, we're not at sort of helping patients be well and managing care. Thank you.